One of the Glazers, Kevin Glazer, is in the spotlight this week after reports suggested that he is preparing to sell his shares in Manchester United. Other reports have denied this is the case. So what I've done is a bit of research and what I want to do in this video is hopefully explain exactly what Kevin Glazer has officially done, why he might have done it, and what it means for Manchester United. Now, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. But let's take a look at what Kevin Glazer has actually done. Kevin Glazer has converted his Class B shares at Man United to Class A shares. An official filing to the New York Stock Exchange has confirmed this and this information is publicly available, released by Man United on October the 10th. Now, you might fairly ask a couple of questions about that. What are Class A and Class B shares and why is it so important that Kevin has converted from Class B to Class A? So here's a bit of information about that. And all the information I've got here is from United's official IPO document they gave to the New York Stock Exchange when they officially went public. Class A and Class B are the two separate pools of shares that are available for Manchester United. And they are identical in pretty much every way, apart from two key aspects. The first difference is that each Class A share carries only one vote per share, whereas each Class B share carries 10 votes per share. Therefore, all control of Man United in terms of voting power lies inside the Class B shares and they are owned exclusively by the Glazers siblings. And the second major difference is that Class B shares can't be sold. They're not available on the open market. They're the Class A shares. If you were to go to the New York Stock Exchange and you wanted to buy shares in United, you'd be buying Class A shares. So if any Glazer did want to sell their stake in United, they would have to convert to Class A shares first. And that is exactly what Kevin has done. Now this is where it gets a bit interesting. Kevin was able to convert his Class B shares into Class A shares because it is allowed by Manchester United, according to the official documents. But Class A shares cannot be converted to any other type of capital stock in United. And as I said, this is officially stipulated by United in the official documents. And Kevin hasn't got an increased value in his shares by making it Class A instead of Class B. They're worth the same amount of money. So why would Kevin make this conversion? Now, it's important to note at this point that we sort of move away from the facts and into assumptions. But Kevin has given up all of his voting rights associated with Class B shares that aren't publicly tradable for Class A shares that have no voting rights in comparison, but are publicly tradable. Why would he do that? The natural assumption here is that he wants to sell. Why else would he give up all that voting power. It doesn't really make any sense other than the fact that he wanted to sell them. And if you look at United from an investor's point of view, you can understand that. We've been on a steady decline for a long time and everything points towards that continuing for some time. So the value of the investment has decreased for the Glazers and for anybody else who's got Class A shares. And then if you look at the Chevrolet news that they might not renew because they're worried about the on-the-pitch performances, from a commercial perspective, the value of United has dropped. The share price has certainly dropped. And from an investor's perspective, United now is a stock which is questionable. You might want to sell it. So that may be the reason that Kevin Glazer is doing it. He just wants to cash out his money as soon as possible and not lose any. And maybe elsewhere, Kevin wants to inject some cash into other business ventures. He's involved in the first Ally Corporation, which is a Glazer-owned company that owns a ton of real estate in America, shopping malls that they own and then rent out. Now, they've had financial problems for some time, and maybe they need a cash injection. Maybe that's why Kevin's going to pull his money out of United and put it into there. It's at this point, as I said, we're moving away from facts and into conjecture. But converting your shares away from the shares that have voting power two shares that don't have voting power, and crucially, the fact that he can't convert them back into Class B shares, it's strange. And unless it's to sell, why else would he do it? Let me know in the comments if you think there are any other reasons why he might do that. Now, another question you might have is what position would that leave United in if Kevin Glazer was to sell up all his shares? Now, the reality is not much, because if he leaves, 
it's likely that his voting power in the Class B pool is simply going to be split among the five remaining siblings and that the Glazers would still maintain total control. But this could be a major, major moment for United and for United fans that we've been waiting for for a long time. It could be the first Glazer sibling to cash out of United, to walk away from the club and say, you know what, I'm not making enough money anymore. I'm leaving. Could that start a domino effect with the likes of Darcy, Edward, Avram, Joel, the other Glazers? Now, all the rumours suggest that Avram and Joel really want to stick around for the long term at the United. But the others, maybe they'll follow suit. Now, of course, there are contrasting reports. Sky Sports reporting that stories Kevin Glazer will be selling his shares are false. But inside that story, crucially, there's no denial of Kevin converting his shares into Class A shares. And this is the crucial aspect of it all. Because the difference between Class A and Class B is substantial in the idea that Class A shares can be sold on the open market. If Kevin Glazer wanted to cash out of United, he'd need Class A shares instead of Class B. And he's now got that. I'm going to continue to follow this story and see what developments happen. But as you can tell, it's very complicated. You're getting into all the legal jargon of stocks and shares and it gets messy. But Kevin Glazer has converted his shares into Class A shares and now doesn't have the ability to convert them back. Why else would he do that if he had no intention of selling those shares? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll see what develops. If you did enjoy this video, hopefully it helped you understand what's going on. But something's certainly happening. And I'm interested to find out exactly what it is. Fingers crossed it ends up with one of the Glazers leaving United because maybe that will start the domino effect that we've all been waiting for. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And if you are new, make sure you subscribe as well. Till next time though, take it easy.